I stand before you recognizing that without the guidance and the help of the Holy Spirit, my words are in vain. Yes, in vain. So let us invite the Holy Spirit to be with us, to guide our thoughts and open our hearts to the truth of God's word. Yes, 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 yes. I said the truth. So what's the truth of God's word? The truth is it will make a difference and his word is spirit and life. In Jesus name, let's have a discussion. Now we all live in a body that we can agree upon. Our bodies are seemingly alive as long as we are breathing and our hearts are beating. Ba boom This in itself is fascinating for it points to something deeper. Now breath is God's presence in us and the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 it says and the Lord formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils and the breath of life and man became a living soul. Now this tells us that the very breath that we breathe is the breath of God. His presence is in us. Now the heart on the other hand is linked to what we believe. Yes our belief system. So the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So what resides in our hearts is our guiding action over our life. Now, interestingly, this displays God's heart towards us. He gave us his son. That's God's belief system. The son of God is the key to our salvation. It is not merely an intellectual agreement, but a heartfelt faith. It gives us access to God's belief system and his heart felt love. Now Romans chapter 10 verse 9 to 10 emphasizes this further. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It is with that same heart that we believe and we are justified with the mouth that we profess our faith and with that mouth, we are then saved. So let's not pick unripe fruit. Meaning what? Let us not rush to the conclusions or actions without the rightness of understanding and faith. Let our hearts be filled with true belief, nurtured by the word of God and the guidance of his Holy Spirit. In conclusion, my dear friends, brothers, sisters, body of Christ, let us remember that our life, our breath is a gift from God, sustained by his presence, our heart, the seat of our belief must be firmly rooted in faith in Jesus Christ. Believe and be saved, for it is through belief in our hearts and confession with our mouths that we embrace the gift of eternal life. Pray this with me. Lord Jesus, we choose to believe. Your heart is for us and not against us. We confess by mouth that we are sinners and repent from this sin of yesterday the sin of tomorrow and the sin of the future. We thank you for taking our place and shedding your blood on our behalf. We celebrate your resurrection, our now victory flag. Thank you for accepting our prayer. Somebody say, Amen.